Hi everyone, it's Dom from Dom Designs here, and in today's video, I will be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draw this watermelon icon in Adobe Illustrator. Please stay tuned to the later part of the video to find out my little trick on how to create shadows. You won't want to miss it. First things first, we will be starting by creating a new document at 1920 by 1080 pixel size. The other options are not necessary, but for your information, mine is set to RGB at 72 dpi. Now, I already have a color palette created for this illustration, but I'll put the hex codes down in the description below so that you can follow along. I'll be copying over my original illustration onto my new file. This will transfer over the colors I have used and add them to my swatches panel. What I usually do is select my whole drawing and go to the swatches panel options and click select, add selected colors. Now we can delete everything and start fresh. What I'll do here is go to my layers panel and rename this layer background. We're going to add a nice little pinkish color to this. We're going to create another layer on top and we're going to name this one watermelon. This is where our illustration is going to be. Using the rectangle tool, we are going to create a rectangle that matches the same size as our artboard, which will be 1920 by 1080. We will then align it to our artboard using the align shape panels at the top. Once completed, we will fill this shape with a nice soft pink and set this as our background and lock the layer. By going to the view menu at the top, make sure you do not have snap to pixel on and have the snap to point selected. Now using the ellipse tool, we will create a circle in the middle of our artboard by holding shift plus option and fill it in as a darker green color. Now, we are going to be creating a sequence of circles here, so bear with me. By selecting the original circle, we will do copy and paste to front, which is Command C plus Command F. This will place the same circle perfectly on top of the original one. If you're working on a PC, then that would be Control C, Control F. Once we've done this, we can now scale down the second circle. We can then fill this circle with a light shade of green. This will be our highlight. We will do the same steps a few more times. So we select the light green and do Command C, Command F and fill it with a nice cream color. Once again, we'll redo it. We're going to do Command C, Command F and fill this as white. And finally, one more time, Command C, Command F, and fill this as a darker pink. This will be the inside of our melon. Now we want a slice of the watermelon and not the full melon here. So using the rectangle tool, we will create a rectangle that aligns perfectly with the center of our melon. Using one of my favorite tools, the shape builder tool here on the left panel, we will remove half of the unwanted melon. As you can see, when having the Shape Builder tool selected, when going over the shapes, we can see it grays out what shape you want to keep or remove. By pressing the Option key, you will see the cursor go from plus to minus. In this case, we want to hold down Option and select all the unwanted shapes, like so. Now, 
Now that we have half the melon, let's center the whole drawing to our artboard. We are going to give the inside of the melon some texture by adding highlights and shadows. The light source will be coming in from the left, so the left part of the melon will be light and the right part of the melon will be darker. Let's double click on the half circle shape. This will isolate the shape. Using the pencil tool or the pen tool, we will add some squiggly lines and then close down the shape. Don't worry if your path is not smooth. We can fix that with the smooth tool by clicking and dragging on the path until it smooths out. Now here is my little trick. We will want to create three separate shapes so that we can color in our shadows, but we don't want to break down the original half circle here. What I do is copy and paste to front the original half circle. As you can see, we have a duplicate sitting right on top. By selecting our swirly line path and the half circle, we will use the shape builder tool to delete excess shapes and break down our highlights and shadows into separate entities. As you can see here, we still have the original half circle shape underneath. Now let's give these shapes different tones of pink. Going light is to darker using our pre-made color palette. It's amazing how you can already see our melon coming to life just by adding these three tones. Finally, what's a watermelon without a few annoying seeds in it? We will create a black circle like so and give it a small highlight to the left. So as mentioned previously, you do copy and paste to front and then you duplicate a third circle layer by option dragging. And now, with the shape builder tool, we will delete the excess shape and give this shape a lighter tone of gray. Let's place our seed to the left side and copy over our second seed to the center of the melon. You can then do Command D or Control D to duplicate our third seed which will respect the same distance. Now let's copy two of the seeds and center it right below.
Finally, let's add a small shadow underneath our watermelon icon. Let's create a third layer and name it Shadow. With the Ellipse tool, we will create a circle underneath the melon and give it a slightly darker shade of pink. And there you have it. This is how I draw a watermelon icon in flat design in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe to the channel as I'll be posting more tutorials like these weekly. I hope to see you next time. Cheers!